You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Today, Butch and I are going to check out the game of Gridopolis. Morning, LPS Dave. Gridopolis. Good morning, Butch. How are mm -hmm. you today? Mm -hmm. It's actually afternoon, I just realized. I guess I slept in later than I thought. Is this a good brain day for you? Mm, every day is a good brain day, LPS Dave. I ate some spinach. All right, well, here we go. Mm -hmm. We are going to check out Gridopolis, the build and play and 3D strategy game. And thanks to them for sending us this game to check out on video today. Gridopolis Games. Playtime is 20 to 60 minutes. Have you got the time? Mm, always LPS Dave. Age is 8 plus. Do you qualify? No. Players 2 to 4 or more. Hmm. Well, two to, we'll do today. All right. And there's over 200 pieces. Now, there's not much there we can learn more about. Let's check out the back here, because we need to learn. All right. How about this? We'll do a little trade-off there. You do box one. Box one. The one that says grid set parts? Yes. Hmm. Use three basic parts to build the three-dimensional grid set. Designs are included to help you get started. Player markers. Hmm. Players use markers to move. Start off as a pawn, then get kinged. Oh. It's kind of like a checkers thing. Huh? Interesting. Then you've got nodes. Place, placed on the round pads, the nodes. I'm putting air quotes up right now. There you go. Modify gameplay. The single quotes, too. You can't do doubles quotes, there. Yes. All right. How do I play? Win by being the last player standing or play a timed game with points. You decide. Hmm. Gridopolis uses an ingenious blend of rules you already know. Borrowed from checkers, chess, and even tic-tac-toe. Really? I have to admit, I'm not much of a chess player. So. I'm not either. I wonder if they used any principles from lawn charts. Uh, I don't think lawn charts is in mm, this one. No You'll throwing. pick it up in no time. No throwing the pieces. The grid set physically changes during the game. How much? It is up to mm. you. Each player gets 10 grid set pieces to use during the game. Add a pad to expand the play zone. Or use the blocker box to shrink it. Ooh, so it's like a... Building set and a game all in one. Looks crazy. Innovative, flexible, magical. Really? Really? I'll let everybody read those, but I think it's uh, time for us to get this out of the box. So when we come back, it is time to check out Gridopolis. Gridopolis. All right, Butch, are you ready? Ready, LPS Dave. Gridopolis. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Oh. Whoa. Check that out. Wow, we have the instructions manual and then all of the pieces. All of the pieces. Makes you want to hum a little jingle. All the pieces. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Ready to play a game. We're going to play Gridopolis. All right, well, let's see. Quick start guide. It's a game plus system. Mm -hmm. Pad, post, link. Okay, mm -hmm. you got that down. Check. Pad, post, link. Pad, post, link. Pad, post, link. Not link sausage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not a pad of butter. Mm. These three simple parts can be arranged in any way you want. Build tall or build small. Really? But don't build at all. No, no, that's not uh. right. Okay, there's their Kickstarter. All right, there's contact information there. All right, and then Gridopolis to build. Oh, here we go. Analog gaming, education, crowdsourcing, digital gaming. Hmm. The goal is to capture your opponents until you are the last one left. Or time runs out, you capture others by jumping over them. Simple. Sounds simple. If you've ever played checkers or chess, you get the idea, except now you're playing in 3D. All right. Whew. Yes. I'm a little anxious about this. Okay, okay. everything is nicely say. bagged up. But I don't be anxious. I will I will help you through this. Oh, thank you. And then, uh, you know, we'll learn how to play. We'll do some gameplay. Now, you I'm know, I'm really good at planning like ahead on my moves. Okay, so that's I know. the problem. I know. You're very random, but you mm -hmm. tend to win when you go random. You don't have to, you don't have to think too much. True. You're know, like your own little think tank, you know? They're like, let's get a think tank together. It's just Butch sitting in a room. Just me. Just me and all of me. Yeah. Crazy me, happy me. Okay. Angry me. We talk it out. We work it out. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. We are moving right along here. Nice. I just like that hearing like all the different... Yeah, what is this? That's quickly, a pad. Quickly, 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 quickly. Quick, quick. Okay, good. Mm. Good job. Mm -hmm. What is this? We didn't learn that yet. You may wonder why I'm cutting my bag so precisely. No, you're not wondering why. Everybody, know why. yeah, you know why. I like to keep them. Especially these, they got their name on them. Great optimism. Oh, you like to preserve the, yeah. the integrity of them. Hey, ooh! We said at the same time. 
All right, here we go. And what is this? You have no idea. You don't know yet. This is unpacking music. Yeah. Well, this would be a perfect time to hop in here. Look at all the pieces. LPS Dave is putting away. You may say it's confusing. But I'm okay, the only that's enough one. of that. All right, what are these? <laughs> what are these? <laughs> Post. All right. This could be a little crazy here, LPS Dave. I'm feeling a little crazy today. No, 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 no. Just let it all out. I know you've been stressed oh, be out. Careful, you say. That. <laughs> yeah. Don't let warning, it all out. Warning. Okay, check that out. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Now we have that's all the, the pieces out. Go Let's on. just take a quick look. You have the post, like you said. The pad, like you said, mm -hmm. and the link sausage, like you oh, said, right? Oh boy. Okay, and then other pieces that they have not filled us in on are these little round. We'll call these Knuton rods. Okay, mm -hmm. we got the Knuton rods out. Yes. We got the Knuton thingies out. Mm -hmm. We got this one out. Okay, these are multicolored, but they're all the same. And then the main pieces. Okay, I think that's. Did I get them all? I believe so. Yeah, I think I got them all. Mm, these are all the same. Okay, so this is what we're looking at here as the pieces, okay? And then I need to now look at the rolls. Okay, not too much here. Building parts, node parts, grid set, markers, assembly tips. Let's read through this. We're going to come back now and then start a, a setup and then we'll eventually do a gameplay. Yes, sir. I might need to get some food for this LPS day. I know, talking about sausage mm -hmm. links. All right, Butch, we are back. Uh, beautiful job on the colors there. Thank you, LPS Dave. I'll take your word for it. Purple, yellow, green, and blue. Mm -hmm. So if a uh, two player, four player, depending on which color you like, um, we'll probably give you the light color. I like that, thank okay. you. <laughs> All right, so we know the post, we know the pad, and we know the link. Correct. Now what is next to the link? Formerly known as the canoeter, no, you call it canoeter. Ah, uh, yes, valve. the blocker box, mm -hmm. and next to that is the hyper pad, yes. and then the kingerizers are in front of the markers. Mm -hmm. So now we know all the pieces: markers, kingerizer, mm -hmm. hyper pad, blocker box, and then post pad link. Post pad link. All right, so not in that order, by the way. Mm -hmm. All right, so we need to build. Here's some assembly tips. Start by connecting the links to the pads. They're easy to connect if you attach them from the underside. Let's just take a quick look here. I see what they're saying. Okay, so it's going to go like this, and then you are going to snap them snap. in. Snap. I heard it. Did you like the sound mm -hmm. of that? Mm -hmm. And it looks like I'm building a 3x3 three three grid. Hmm, how many pieces is that total? Three by three, mm -hmm. 16 mathematics. Square root of that times nine. It didn't say anything about learning Minus mathematics. Six plus two. I think it's somewhere around eight point seven five LPS, Dave. Million? Or Round it up to nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. All right. So I'll tell you what. We have to build three of these. Correct, O Mundo? Yes. Three floors. Three, three floors. Levels. Three by three. Mm -hmm. And then when we get to the point where I put the posts in, we'll come back. I'm going to build three of these surfaces. I see now when oh, you're like double connecting connector. over. Yeah. And then we will uh, move on. We will be back then in a short momento. I'm mesmerized at your how quickly you can put that together. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Huh? I like it. And it seems solid. It does. Mm -hmm. Did I say we'd be back? Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back, everybody. All right, Butch, as you see, I have built my bottom structure. Yes. Now I need to connect, and they give you a nice little picture. Everything is laid out in the instruction, a bucolat, right there. Mm. So I need Maybe. to put one here, one here, like this, and you build two levels. Uh -huh. You know, at first you're a little overwhelmed with pieces, but then as you start to use them up, you less and less actually are showing up so you don't have to worry about it mm -hmm. okay there you go Not there is good hands level o one now we want to just match that here like this okay there we are the tower is now built our good Abolis Seems is to me, LPS six. Dave, that the beginning grid is the same every time, but then no that's, old board. That's where things change. Then you change. never know what happens. Yes. 
So I would say total height here looks to be about 10 inches. Feet. Not 37 feet, everybody. Mm. 10 inches. 10 inches. All right, so getting started. So we're kind of there. You need to have this set for each player. Two posts, mm -hmm. two blockers, Check. and then three pads and sausage links. So you Check. got all that there? Yes. Mm -hmm. I got all that here, okay. Build three levels, and then add four supporting posts for each level. Place hyper pads as shown, five total. Okay, hyper pads, I got them here. It looks like it's going to be this corner. Would you agree? Okay. And then opposite this corner. Mm -hmm, yep. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then one in said center section here. Yes. Yep. And then one in the opposite zone that we had previously. Uh -huh. So like right here, would you say that? Interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And those are good, I think. Yes, we will find out. Mm -hmm. And then it looks like we need to add more to the grid section. So I will grab those pieces because now we need to build the section that holds your, uh, ooh, what do they call them? I already forgot. Oh. Markers. Your markers. markers. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and then we will do that next. So I'll come back now with those pieces, build the next section, and then we will continue on. It's like a home base. All right, Butch, we are back to put on the next <laughs> section. Of... Are you done? Pumping some iron, LPS Dave. It sure looks that way. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, maybe it's an uh, alternative use for Gridopolis, a little That's weight set for Bush. Yeah. All right, so now we built these. They don't tell you in the instructions to build those. They just kind of show you they're all set up. Nothing here or nothing here that we mm. saw that mentions that. So make sure you pay attention to the pictures. Uh -huh. Pictures good. Yes. So snap these in. And then, well, let me do this side so we can keep this balanced here. And they don't have any posts holding them up there, do they, LPS Dave? No posts. Think of this as like your big checker game board here. So now I need to get these like in here. Yes. In okay. Like. This is designating your starting row for this player. Yes. Let me just do that for this player. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you put the pieces on, and we are almost ready to go. Okay, mm -hmm. and then let's put these in. Now, I'm putting them down. You well, see, this will be the king. This would be the pawn. Pawn. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Very nice. So hidden underneath those is the mm -hmm. king riser. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Careful. So before we actually game play, we did go over some of the steps to moving. Okay, so that is set. You see that? Uh -huh. Let's get one nice shot of that. Now, I would suggest that if you're going to play this game, keep it set up for a while. Come back to it, play it, come back uh -huh. to it, play it. It does take a little time you to set up. break it apart back to the original f frame here, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so three or four players, now you're going to build the other side. See that? They show it here. Uh -huh. Okay, and then now we are option one for gameplay. Be the last marker standing, no time limit. Option two, play to any time limit you choose. Mm -hmm. Make sure that each person has the same number of turns, so whoever wins, went first, continue until right before it's that person's turn. Then you count up the points. There's some game pre-cap there. Mm -hmm. And then here are some legal moves. So like checkers, it says starting. Pawns can move one pad at a time, any direction. This includes diagonally, sideways, and from one level to another. So mm -hmm. I can move this one from here. Oh, that's not my color. I don't want to be that one. Mm -hmm. Let's say I move this one from here to here. I can move this one from here to here, right? Mm -hmm. I can move this one from here to here. Mm -hmm. And then I can move this one from here, diagonally would be under here. Correct. Right? And then I can move from here, or I can go diagonally to here. Mm -hmm. So basically, this pawn or marker can move in those spots, right? That's right. Okay. That seems to be the legal, legal way. Yes, that's starting. You mm -hmm. see, they show you here, this person go bleep, 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 bleep. Pawns may move one pad away, even vertically and diagonally. Mm -hmm. All six moves, shown orange, are legal. Nice. Later, pawns can also jump their own team to speed things up. Now, it says later. Is that after you've moved off of your pieces? It's not very clear there. Uh -huh. All jumps are required because it does not say I can't do this. Can I do this on my first move? That's a very good question. I'll okay, we'll have to clear that up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, all jumps are required to be in a straight line. Okay, so no turning corners. You may even jump mm -hmm. multiple markers on the same move. Orange pads highlight legal moves. Hmm. So if this person wants to jump this one, they can go here or across there. 
right? Mm -hmm. Pawns can never go backwards, which is towards their starting home row, so you can't go this way. Right. For me, anyway. Sideways moving is okay, except for the home row. So you cannot go to the home row. Markers must exit. Okay. Uh-huh. Once you land on any opponent's home row, the colored key king ariser, you get kinged. Ooh. Flip over your pawn, and it's now a king. This is a major advantage. That's a big deal. Why kings can then move one pad in any... Why? Kings can then move on pad in any direction, but they also get two separate moves in a row. Oh. The second move is always optional. Mm -hmm. It's not turning. It's two moves. So you can go from one doop. Oh, you can go from doop to doop. Okay? Doop, doop, doop. Wow. All right. So let's read through this a little bit. We'll come back now and actually start the game. It's time. Yeah. Do a few more reps here. I want you good and pumped up. <gasps> oh, I'm exhausted. I'll be Dave. All right, Butch. Uh, you are back. I am back. We are set. We now, remember these are special pieces. They oh, replace wow. your move. So if you don't want to move, you can put these down, and these totally block the one that's on for the entire game. That space is dead for the game, LPS. So I guess if I wanted to start play, I could just do make that my that first move. That wouldn't be very nice. It wouldn't be nice to you, no. Mm -mm. But you can still get out of there. And then another optional move is to now build off the main grid. So you can do that here, add a pad. The grid set you start with is not the one you end with. A new pad can be connected anywhere it fits, either horizontally or vertically. It is used in lieu of a move. Hmm. Each player gets three pads, two posts at the beginning of the game, and can use them at any time. When using a post, a new pad must be directly above another pad. See how they go up a level? Yes. Let's build that. Let's build that right now. And I will show you. So this can go here. Okay, facing this direction, it cannot go out here mm -hmm. like this because it's not over another pad. Now, if the other game board was here for the four player, I'd be able to do that. I could also take this and just add it. So you're probably saying, Dave, why would you do that? Mm -hmm. That's what exactly what I was saying. Well, let's say you're about to get jumped oh. and you know you're going to get jumped and you're trapped. Mm -hmm. So you might want to just move or build out on your game mm -hmm. board. Okay. But you don't get to move when you put a new pad. No, mm -hmm. but you've moved out of the way, I guess. We'll see. Mm -hmm. All right, jumping 101. To capture a marker, you jump over them in a straight line. Okay, mm. so let's just go. Let's see what happens. We'll go. Let's I will go. let you go first since you've been working Are out. Are we setting a time limit here, LPS Dave? We'll we're just, just play a little. It. You know, we're kind of learning the game, so as we run into little issues, we will talk Let's do 22 it. seconds. Go! Go, done! All right, so mm -hmm. where do you want to go? Let's go middle guy straight up on top, LPS Dave. I like to have a bird's eye this view. This guy of what's going straight on. up. Mm -hmm. So you could have also moved here. Yes. And you probably could have also moved down a level, right? Correct. Okay. Thank I you. like that move. I like that. Thank move. you. Ooh, strategery. Mm hmm. I'm going to move the guy that you just moved right up into the middle of the top so I can really keep an this eye on This one here. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. All right, and then, now, these are special, too. If you want to land on these, it'll transport you anywhere there is an open one you want to go. So uh -huh. just for example, if I la landed here, I could say, oh, I am transporting, okay? Yes. So I'm not going to do that now. So technically speaking, I think I should be able to jump you. What? Right? If I go here, aren't I going here? Oh, As a jump? Boy. Let's see. It sure looks like an LPS day. Any capture jump move must always be made in a straight line with no turns or change in directions. This is tricky with different levels and diagonal angles. Is it ever. Okay, let's see. Diagonal angles. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one is here, and this guy is jumping down here. That's an illegal jump. Okay, straight line shows there's no pet. Okay, so that's an illegal jump. This one's illegal. All right, let's mm -hmm. see. Green is captured. So you are in the middle, I am on a corner, and I'm jumping down. Mm -hmm. I have now captured you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's just leave it, and we will move on. I think you can jump me out, PS Dave, from that angle one that you moved out first. This one? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's just keep going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My turn? Yeah. No, no turn. my turn. Yes. I'm going to move here. Nice. I'm going to keep that guy moving straight ahead, out PS Dave. Straight ahead? Uh huh. Okay, now that, for sure, if I want to move this guy up, can I do that? Or do I have to go to the next available lower space? 
No, I moved my guy up there, LPS Dave. So I can go like that. Oh boy. So he's lost for the whole game, huh? Yes. Now remember, since it's this way, this is the point. If you're playing with points, I captured your pawn, not your king. I got to right. keep it this way. Oh, boy. Now I have to do it again. Mm -hmm. I'm running. I'm running. Oh, there's a kamikaze sacrifice move. Hmm. This sacrifice move is when a player captures an opponent's marker but lands off the board set. Both markers are eliminated from play. Hmm. Hmm, I guess you can do that. Wow. Oh, and you can multi-jump, too. Jumping is not only limited to capturing more... One marker, a multi-jump allows you to keep jumping and capture more. It's like, bing, 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 bing. Could you imagine that? Yes. Can you imagine that? I have that? a question, LPS. Yes, go. Let's see if you can answer this for mm -hmm. me. If I don't move out of the back row, can you ever be kinged? Uh, probably not, but I'd wipe out everything on the game board, and you would just be stuck there. I'm good. That's what I would do. Okay, That's great. my defense move. All right, next move mm -hmm. for you. I think I'm scared. I'm going to move down. I'm going to take this guy on the right here, LPS Dave, and go down a level. This guy here? Mm -hmm. And go... Straight down. Straight down. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know if that's legal or not, but we will see. It is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start moving some of these out. Oh, opened up a king spot. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to move that same guy on the bottom straight mm -hmm. ahead, LPS Dave. Straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Hmm... So I guess I could jump you here. What? I mean, I'm trying to figure this what? out. So basically, I'm jumping no. over you like that or oh. not? So basically, on that level, I think oh. I've jumped you. Well, we'll see. We're learning. We will play this a few more times. Yeah, no, uh, not today, good. but... All right, next move. Is it my move already? I think so. I think you're getting oh, jumped boy. like crazy here. Oh, boy. I think I'm going to move this guy right in front of me here, LPS Dave, straight ahead. Straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sacrifice the move. Whoa! Block you from jumping. He's blocked there. forever. Yeah, I don't want to. Can't you. move sideways. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I can move on an angle. Yeah, you can move on an angle. Mm -hmm. No, you can move sideways, just not in the back row. That's right. So I'll move him on an angle, LPS Dave, straight into the middle there. Right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. Very good move. I'm going to transgress. Oh, no, I don't want to do that because mm -hmm. he would get jumped, right? Oh, so if I jump I you... Know. Then you're gonna jump. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Let's uh -huh. move my strategy. team. Um, yeah, strategy. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Let me see. Do they have strategy in here anyway? Mm -hmm. Ooh, king jumping. When king's ability to move in any direction, oh, with the king's ability, you may have more jumps than you think. Although rare, uh -huh. a king may be able to capture three or even four opponents. Because they can go backwards in one single uh -huh. move. Could you imagine? Impressive. It says impressive. Impressive. Now the hard part is we got to get a king first. Mm -hmm. yes. We don't have any kings. Look at this move here. By using a hyper pad on their first move, a king can still take a second move after they arrive at the destination pad. So he's going to the hyper. Mm -hmm. He's going to transport there. That's, and since he gets, move. gets two moves, mm -hmm. it's a jump. Wow. Wow. So how do I get me one of these kings, LPS Dave? Well, let's keep reading here because we are learning more designs. The grid set this mail is just a starting point. Have an idea for your own design? Try it out. More players, more games. Okay, oh. so there's a lot you can do here. It's an ever-expanding game. Yes. I wonder... Whose move was it? Mine? Sure. Okay, yeah, I think you moved to the center. I put my blocker down. You moved to the center. Mm -hmm. And then did I, did I... Oh, well, whatever. You're letting me go. Nice. I think what I'm going to do, LPS Dave, is I'm going to move to that hyper pad right in the middle. Which one? In the middle. The middle? This mm -mm. one? Mm -mm. This one? Mm -hmm. To here? Mm -mm. The one right in front of it. Oh, to the one. Okay, so you're going to the hyper pad, mm -hmm. and then where you want to go? Straight up on the top there, LPS Dave. Right no here? other one. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think what you're trying to do is king yourself. No! So if I don't jump you, you'll be able to jump down. Oh, oh, boy. That was a bad move. I've lost some of my resources, LPS Dave. I'm severely weakened. Severely <laughs> weakened. Mm -hmm. okay. There's a lot of dark gray on that board right now. That's all I can say. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's my turn. Yes, sir. I'm going to move. I'm going to move, LPS Dave. I'm going to move that front pawn on the left all the way down to the to the hyper pad below it. Front one on the left. Mm -hmm. This one? If you can reach it. No. This one? Mm-hmm. To the hyper pad. Below. Below. 
I'm going to make you do some contortions there to try to get it. Okay, so you've landed there. Now yep. where are you Now going? back up to that same hyper pad I just, yes! There you go. Mm-hmm. Whew. Okay. Thank you. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. He's seeing mm -hmm. it. He's seeing, mm -hmm. seeing my mm -hmm. evil genius. Mm -hmm. I am going to go here. Mm-hmm. Simple move. And I'm going to go straight down to that, uh, right into your home base, LPS, Dave. Here? Nope, can't do that. One move. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got you. Mm -hmm. Let's clear the team out of here. King me! Yes! Ooh, that's scary. Now. Uh huh. Now I'm going to be chasing you down. That is scary. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do my hyperbole on this one here. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, very nice. Let's start chasing that king mm -hmm. out of there. Move him on an angle, LPS. Here? Straight out. Mm hmm Okay, I'm going diagonally over there. Oh, I'm going to shoot down to this one back here. Get him out of the way from mm -hmm. your untrustworthy king. Nice. You can't Why jump me. Don't we you can't jump me. Move up a row. Up a row? Straight ahead. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. That's a big problem. Mm. Oh, I get two moves as a king. Oh, you do. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I forgot that mm -hmm, little detail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, boy. What's going to happen now? Oh, Butchie gets two moves. What are you going to do? Well, first LPS, Dave, I think I want to add a pad. All right, well, let's what check here now. First move? Hyper pad tips. Hyper mm. pads do not count as part of your move. Correct. If you land on one, the next jump is free. Mm. So that's what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. When you land on a hyper pad, you must beam out to any other unoccupied hyper pad pawns. Mm -hmm. not rest okay, so I think we're playing that wrong. Mm. Mm -mm. When you land on a hyper jump pad, you must beam out mm -hmm. to any other unoccupied hyper pad. That's oh, we exactly did. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. If you land on a hyper pad when all the hyper pads are blocked, okay, we got it. All right. Mm -hmm. If you arrive at your destination hyper pad, you will need to leave that hyper pad and re enter or land on another hyper pad to beam out again. Mm -hmm. Since kings have two moves, they can use move one to exit and then move two to re enter and beam out. Well, I'd like to use one move to okay. add a pad. Go ahead. Right to the right of your guy on top there, LPS Dave. This guy here? Mm hmm. You're going to add a pad? Mm hmm. Out the outside there. All right. Well, let me grab your weightlifting oh, no, no. set here. Mm -hmm. Probably better off. Okay. You want to add a pad? Mm hmm. hmm. I'm not sure why you want to do that, but. Just for fun. I wanted to try it. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do. Okay. That's one move. I'd like to jump you. Mm hmm. Uh, straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, I added the wrong pad, LPS Dave. You didn't want it there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, never mind. I'll take you. Okay, now... Did you see what I was thinking about doing? I, I think, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is one of those games where I think you need to spend some time. Time. Really. I'm really confused. Okay, don't be overly confused. Well, I can tell you that having a king is a big advantage. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. But I believe I could also move sideways, right? Mm. What? Can I move sideways? Um, and diagonally. Mm-hmm. So can I jump you like this? Oh! Let me just say, LPS Dave, just as having a king is powerful, mm -hmm. not having a king is devastating. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll tell you what. That's really good. Good move. Well, let's come back now. We'll just go over some things, recap. I think we've had a good mm -hmm. gameplay here, and we'll just redo, I mean, re, uh, go over what we've done. We're going to recap sure, yeah. the carnage is what yeah. we're going to recap. We'll be back. Dave. All right. Butch and I have read over this uh, again. Yes. And, uh, you know, you're kind of picking things up as you go through, and then situations that you run into, you don't know until you actually play the game a few times and mm -hmm. run into them to know mm -hmm. what to do. So Especially I, with the three dimensions, LPS, Dave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they show you like here is an illegal move. The straight line capturing requirement is the most confusing rule for beginners. Mm -hmm. Here is the same illegal jump from the top and side views to help illustrate. Looks okay from this angle, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Because I think there's some kind of blocker Looks in like there. Looks like there's a blocker there. Mm -hmm. And they, they kind of show it there. Uh, so this 
is uh, one of those examples, which mm -hmm. can be a little. You got your multi jumps, and then your kamikaze, which we said, and then the king jumping with its own rules. So I think overall, you gotta play. You gotta get some kings, is what you gotta do. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like in checkers. Once you get the king, you rule You're the ruled. game. Just don't lose that king. Yeah. That's the word for, you know from the life lesson <laughs> yeah. I learned here today. Don't lose the king. If we were doing points, I think I won. Butch would I have lose. A feeling. Mm -hmm. And as always, thanks for watching. We do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see more game videos, look in that description. We'll have a There's playlist link there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Later. Bye bye, everybody. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.